Uh, I'm running late, man. It's uh, been a bit of a disaster, you know. One thing I'll give an insight into in terms of uh, <laughs> seats is that <laughs> if we were at Turban, some days you have a good Turban day, a normal Turban day, and then a bad Turban day. I've had a bad Turban day, a really bad. Uh, it took me three tries, so I'm late. Uh, you know, people just think it's uh, people's hearers of the turban can sometimes not come out right so I'm just running late now and I'm trying to get there uh, yeah it's been great actually here's SWAT there's a SWAT guys <laughs> the SWAT is a, a team that goes out around London and feeds the homeless all the time. Uh, amazing thing to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I was here yesterday. This is day two now. So I'm running around an hour late. And uh, it was a great day yesterday. I, need, I really do need to do it more because one of the problems about me is, um, I don't know why, but I've always been detached. Uh, I always say I'm like an alien. I've always felt like an alien wherever I go. Whether that's with Sikhs, whether that's with everybody. And weirdly, the only place I don't is Speaker's Corner. I think the Speaker's Corner is full of freaks like me. Weirdos. And so, I like weird people. I like odd characters. So, uh, I think that's why I probably fit in there. And I, I, I feel more comfortable there than I do anywhere else, which is odd. But I do seriously need to start... Uh, I do seriously need to start going uh, to these events more without actually um, without actually just going because I'm exhibiting because that's one of my biggest problems I just exhibit and then I don't see people or the see community for a long time and I need to um, I do need to go more because I do love to see community I keep it saying I'm detached but the community that I'm most attached to is obviously going to be the see community uh, this not good being so here's the hungs so the warrior class then you have big up CQ UK you're on you're famous on YouTube now you're going on it as good one yeah I'm uploading it later on today yeah the little clip man so thanks anyway I'm gonna be trying the bow and arrow with Uncle G he's an expert and these kids are going to film me. You better do it properly. Yeah. Otherwise, going to shoot you. Yeah, I will shoot. I'll turn the ball around, hour around. No <laughs> way. If you don't so properly. Come on, we're, we're safe place here. Okay? Yeah. yeah, go on. Make sure you're getting me. Is it recording? Let me just double check it's recording. Because I don't want this yeah, to. Yeah, 22. As long as it's moving. Let's see if it's bullseye or not. Yeah, look at 
Okay, I'm going to use that uh, film. Very good. Film director in the league. Oh, 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 oh. Imagine this in uh, even against a machine gun, you can still do so much damage though if you've got the technique like the uncle. You go into the zoom into the, the into his arrows, and so he, he would be able to take out a whole infantry of uh, machine guns probably if he hit, if he had the technique because he can do bullseye every time. And he's, he's exactly what he needs. Yeah, so I just did the uh, an arrow and I hit the first one dead on the the gold. Uh, it's really hard actually. You need a lot of the upper body strength to do it. Um, because I, once I was hitting the fourth, fifth one, fourth one, uh, they're getting tired. I'm very unfit, this is the problem. So I need to kind of sort myself out. Uh, it's an amazing uh, weapon to use, man. I mean, you can imagine in the days of the Guru and the, the Sikhs, the soldiers, and in the Punjab using the bow and arrow, that's what you know, you feel like a super weapon. What? Stall? And um, SWAT actually feeds a lot of the homeless, especially in London. See here, serving the homeless. So, uh, got a lot of stuff here as well. So, uh, look what they got here as well, my thing, even here. <laughs> so, that's great. Oh, you club, what is that? So, I'm gonna be here. Oh, I'm just looking at the camera. I'm going to be doing an art class next month. It is next month, isn't it? August. It's the, uh, the 6th and the 10th. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm on the 10th. Yeah, I'll see you around. Oh, just take care, man. Oh, look what they're doing over here. They're tying turbans. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is it okay to film, sir? Yes, sir. You okay for me to film? Ah, this is cool. You need to grow your beard, though. Uh, give it, give it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I was telling you what to do. I so say you are you a, a turban a connoisseur. Ah, cool. Yeah, you do it differently when you're doing it this way. If you want the lines and stuff, you have to you have to do it as an angle. I was saying earlier today that I had a lot a bad turban day. It took me like three tries. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, my, my, the length of my turban is probably around minus five yards. So, how much is yours? How much is this? This uh, is about five as well, yeah. Is it five? It looks, looks short. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, no, we still use it there, man. I do, yeah. I do need to change it a little bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of it now, Asa? My bug. Come on. It's, it's looking good now. Don't you think? No, I don't like having a lot of lard. Yeah, he's saying, yeah, yeah. So I, I never used to work. My turban used to be um, what's called starched. And so a couple of years ago, I started tying it every day now. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, we always like looking at the. No, no, you just see the Gorda, a little white guy, and uh, a turban, and we're all around you, like, we're all watching you. Like, <laughs> I'm even recording it. Like, we're in a wildlife, uh, like a wildlife program. We always like, I always love to see the end result of a uh, white. You know, in uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland, uh, a white guy wore a turban. When he had a, because he had a beard, when it was done, he looked, you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, he looked from, he turned from a white. Englishman to like a Sikh British guy. I think he was a Scottish guy. Yeah. It looking great, man. Yeah. And we got like a, a a fake beard for you, though. Fake beard. That's all you need now. Fake beard. Can you now do it again in a few seconds? And uh, we do it on Twitter. Yeah, they'll record it live. Somebody else will come. Yeah. We'll do the corner, isn't it? Get somebody else in. Do the corner. Oh, look at these little kids. Yeah. Hey, watch out. Don't squirt me. Don't squirt me. You know what I'm like with the water. No. Oh, briefly, we need to just walk him back into the tent. Actually, I haven't done any recording for my artwork. There it is today. Still the same configuration, haven't really changed it too much. And then, uh, yeah, so I've got the artwork. So, uh, day two. Check out my book there as well. Look at my artwork on the front. Uh, same artwork basically, just a different location. It was over there earlier, over there. And now it's over here, a bit more visible. Uh, then got, obviously, the rest of the artwork. I went over it yesterday, so I'm not going to go over it again. Just some of my favourite pieces. And, uh, some great pieces here as well. Got one of my Sikh bros representing the army. We need more Sikhs in the army. Remember that, man, because uh, the UK is our home as well. And to protect the UK, you do need people in all fields. Yeah, not just within the. You just can't all be doctors yeah, and artists and stuff. So introduce yourself, bro. Uh, so my name is Army Singh. I've been in the army for about three years. Yeah. Uh, currently trained to be a helicopter pilot. Yeah. Uh, and end goal is to become an Apache pilot. So that's the plan. Yeah. So this guy here, he, his brothers already. He's beaten him. But his brothers been <laughs> flying an Apache now. Yeah. Anyone on, on YouTube, I think Google Apache helicopter and you'll see the baddest ass helicopter you're going to see. Like, I'm jealous of these guys that they're going around. <laughs> so what do, what do you think the issue is in terms of, um, like I was talking to the guys over there about uh, Sikhs not joining the army. There's only 150 of yeah, yeah, yeah. us. Yeah, so the, the issue is the 
there's loads of factors, loads, loads of contributing factors. Yeah. The main ones being um, lack of awareness. Yeah. So I think that's pretty alpha. We don't uh, you know, make something aware, which is why we're here today. Yeah. To speak to people so we can actually uh, tell them what the army's like. Yeah. Like I said, it's not too much about recruiting for me. Yeah. It's more about uh, giving them opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So telling the youngsters stuff that I didn't know uh, until I joined the army. Yeah, because the thing is, I mean, when I, when I was speaking to the guys over there, I mean, the perks you get in terms of like, so if you told an Indian family this, yeah. they'd all jump, jump in, yeah. they'd all chuck all their kids in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so what we need to start doing is like, you know, as a community, uh, we have to start kind of broadening our yeah. kind of horizons. Like if someone wants to join the army, you should encourage that. Because there can be yeah. medics, they can go into engineering. Pretty much anything you can do is civilian. Now I know in the army. comment section, everyone's going to say, Raj, why don't you join the army? I'm too <laughs> old and fat now, yeah? I can't do it. And I, I need to preserve these hands. hands yeah, exactly. look, 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 look how nice and kind of like the Imagine me with a gun. I would love a gun though, that's how <laughs> do you Do you, um... Uh, like, if you were to be called for kind of a lot of things, I think one of the reasons why uh, people are kind of scared for the children, yeah, yeah. they assume that, you know, the army is like, uh, you're at war all the time or something. Yeah. So uh, um, it's not just about that, is it? It's, it's no, humanitarian stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. So we do have humanitarian aid, especially being um, in my regiment, flying helicopters. Yeah. Uh, we've been out to the Philippines, we've been out to Nepal with an earthquake. Yeah. So we do a lot of humanitarian stuff as well. Um, yeah, so th this is the thing that I think people need to start understanding. I mean, even the UN. Yeah. I mean, you'd probably at some point, maybe the UN might call. Do they? Yeah, would they call upon? We have regular tours with the UN all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think what people need. To, I mean, how many? I mean, you would probably only really go to war uh, very few times within your career. I yeah, mean, it'd yeah, be very, yeah. very I mean, limited. Right now, the army is not at war. Sorry, only downside is when you do go, you might get um, potentially. So it is quite a high risk. Of course, but when you when you're talking about um, you know the job, the risk, yeah. and that sort of stuff, someone yeah. got someone has to do the job. Pretty sweet. Are you going to join the army? You better, man. So I, I personally think I've been speaking to um, the guys over there. I mean, you understand I'm going to be working with. The, I can't say too much, but I will be working with the American side. I think that's more important at the moment. And hopefully, once that's done, of course, yeah. and they can see what I've done, they can maybe just try and do it with the. Our side. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I don't think we've had we've got as big as a prop, big of a problem. No, but no, we have. I think my, for me personally, I don't know if you agree is that I think the first two generations are trying to get their equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. last thing they want to do is send their kind of potential kind of a I get it. Yeah. son to. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, when it comes to, I'm not having no kids though, <laughs> but when it comes to people that are our ages, uh, yeah. uh, children, yeah. I think we'll be more kind of like forward thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This guy's doing a great okay. job, man. Uh, thank this you very much. This is the thing, man. Take care, right? Uh, Love we your are, work. Remember, we are British as well, man. We are, we are we're, British. We're Punjabi we are. Sikh British. British. So if you live in the country, you have to be able to protect the country. 100%. That's anyway, bro. Take care. Take care really good to see you. Alright, so I'm here with the, the British Army, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, I do like the RAF though. Well, so we got RAF. No, they're not here, but I know you've got your own little kind of rivalry. Well see, here, we, there's more of an understanding of the seats are. Um, are you quite, because I heard there's only like 150 seats within the army at the moment. It's quite low, isn't it? Yep. Is there any reason why you think that's the case? That's a good question. I mean, uh, it's open to everybody. Your adverts are terrible though, dude. Your adverts are terrible. We're, you shouldn't, we're not here to hug people. Yeah. Take a leave out of China's book. We, these kids, these kids want to see tanks, want to see aeroplanes, and want to see bombs and machine guns. We don't want people hugging each other and stuff. That's well, not how you recruit. We, we've got a very good local uh, successful story. Yeah. Uh, two sick boys. Who, I know them, they're Apache helicopter guys. Yeah, 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 I know them very well. Yeah, 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 I know them very well. I've, I've met them before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people don't know what Apache is, but I, Apache helicopter is a badass helicopter. So, uh, the, thing, the thing is that I think, uh, like for me personally, I think when I've tried to assess the situation, you know, within India, the Sikhs are renowned for being the, the kind of military kind of race. And so we only, make, we only make up 1% of the population, but make up 15% of the army and have a, all the highest decorated regiments. So it's kind of strange that within the UK we don't have that same uh, like kind of representation. Uh, for me personally, uh, I think it's going to be the younger kids that are around here. Yes. Uh, do you agree? Do you think that the next generation? Agree, you have to remember as well, if you look at it, it's not a process that happens overnight. Yeah. It's that like generation. One of the things that I was saying that I think um, the first two generations are more worried about settling in. 
and uh, kind of uh, getting their ground and they don't want their kids. I think one of the things that a lot of people assume when you go into the army that it's just about do 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 do. It's not the And it's not. Uh, so about disaster relief, yeah. humanitarian aid, yeah. all sorts of things like that. I mean, you also have a lot of perks as well, though. In terms of, like, if you join the army, you, you were saying yesterday that you have a lot of perks that you don't really... You know, like, what was you saying yesterday about... Yeah. 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 That's a lot of very important to kind of... You don't see that. Uh, if you, you just rip that on the front, I, I think you'd have more people. All right, all right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, I don't think from, I think I think that you're not. I'm not saying you love. I just think generally that, that uh, the, the Asian community is to understand the whole kind of a holistic uh, kind of nature of the armor. Yeah. They just think it's one thing about shooting and not at all. Yeah. Uh, the army basically represents society through so yeah. doctors, lawyers, yeah. engineers. You need you need an artist as well. Yeah. An artist as well. Yeah. 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 So I've done a drawing for um, the South Asian Sanders Military Academy. It's got for the Battle of Selling Gully. Uh, I don't know if you know, it's like 21 seats. Yep. Against uh, 10,000 uh, Afghans. Afghans. Yeah. And so I was commissioned to do that for the right way. It's Sarigari, isn't it? Yeah, Battle of Selling Gully. So I, I've got like a um, kind of like band on that. Yeah, do you mind if you just... Yeah. Obviously you've got you know some great works here and you've also got talents of wild and respect for your body. Where can people go to what you want to do? Um, um, you can go to my website called Raj Singh Tattle or Pentacular Artist. Uh, most of my work I do for this is Seva. I don't do Seva in normal ways. I most would uh, watch the Monday and do London. Uh, what I do is I like to go to schools and teach kids how to draw. And uh, most of my artwork is done for free, basically. And I just exhibit uh, as part of my Seva that I do. That I do basically. Well, we've got a whole lot of work. Why 
ਬਹੁਤ ਖਾਸ ਸਾਹ ਵਾਈ ਦੇਖ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਬਸ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਹੀ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਵੀਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਆਦਮੀ ਨੂੰ ਲੋਕ ਕਰਦੇ ਇਸ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਛੋਟੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਸਪਾਇਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੋ ਸਮ ਮੋਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਲੁੱਕ ਹੂ ਸੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਕੋ ਡੂਡ ਵਾਈ ਗੈਟ ਕਾ ਕਾ ਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਗੈਟ ਆ ਗੋਟ ਮਾਈ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਓਵਰ ਵੇ ਓਵਰ ਵੇ ਆ ਗੋਟ ਨਿਊ ਕਰਾ ਜ਼ੋਰੇ ਸੋ ਲੈ ਯੂ ਡੋਟ ਨਿਊ ਕਰਾ ਜੀ ਕਿਹਦੇ ਕਰੇ ਨਾ ਯੂ ਨੋਟ ਲਾਈਵ ਯੂ ਨੋਟ ਲਾਈਵ ਯੂ ਡੋਟ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਓਨ ਯੂ Oh god. Oh my. This guy this guy this guy is always doing uh keep the balance. No, he's not. No, no, no. When I first met you you were doing um what that was it? When we when I saw you in um when we was over in um Hanslow. Yeah, when you don't want to when you don't want to in that room. With the band, with the band. I was I for the first time I went into a back room with a band here yeah, and the noise <laughs> Remember the call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, singing, I was like, oh my God, man, I'd get out of that place. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how you'd put up with it, man. He is the top man. You're the top man. No, no, you're the top man. You're the top man. See, look at this, man. This guy, this guy's uh, got a great voice. No, no, he ain't. He's got an amazing voice. Hopefully one day we'll hear him. Did you do anything today? No, we just did similar on Friday. We did Friday, early morning, uh, with the school teacher. All right. Don't worry. Watch YouTube, you want on there tomorrow. <laughs> and everybody, you like us, I like you today, man. Take care. Let's show exactly what's going on here. So these are in the hang, what we call the warrior class. Exhibition, thank you. Oh, yeah. And I'm always grateful that you know, uh, invite me. So, uh, I appreciate it. Just for next time. 